Yeah, keep it to him. Now come. Yeah, man. Now come. Yeah, man. Now come. Fire, man. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Dearly beloved woman, 
mother, daughter, sister, aunt, friend, and also a missionary in the church of God, Seashore Bible Church of God, Mount Terry. Up to the time of her that she was an active board member, she was a missionary, and she was a hard worker in ministry. She was a member of the choir as well. And so I ask you, in respect of her, you do some social distancing. Oh, what are you saying? I'm supposed to turn this way. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know that there are people on this way. <laughs> anyway, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. And I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself. And my eyes shall be older, not another. Ladies and gentlemen, we have brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. With your social distance, your cooperation in singing, and other contributions, yes. it will be highly appreciated. I'm now about to turn over this portion of the program to a very dear worker in the church, the Seashore Bible Church of God, into the able hands of Evangelist Marshall and Marietta. And I want to acknowledge the missionaries and other workers, Deacon Fox and my right. Moderator, Evangelist Cena. Thank you very Amen. much. Marshall. Marshall, I'm sorry. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Protocol observed. Yes. Good afternoon to one and all. Yes. We are here. My name is Cynthia Marshall. Yes. Glory to the name of God from the Seashore Bible Church of God over there in Mount Yes. Glory to the name of God. And we are here this afternoon to celebrate the life of Ina Phoenix Senior. Patsy, today, a beloved sister who gone on to be with the Almighty God, and we will see her again when uh, the dead in Christ shall rise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Opening God. sentence, our pastor. We'll do the opening sentence for us. Our opening sentence has already been addressed to the people. I want to say once again to the family, the bereaved family, friends and well-wishers, a pleasant greeting and good afternoon. And I want you to understand that we are here not to mourn or to be disappointed, but to to give a very rousing and warm send-off to someone who we know with our certainty has passed from death unto life. And eternal life is our treasure. Only the carcass is laying here. But the soul, through the redemptive work of Jesus Christ, has gone on to glory. And the we want to celebrate that. We ask for your cooperation. Please do some social distancing. We still can't get the social distancing. We need to stand apart from each other so that we can have, I mean, protocols observed. You don't know when the police is gonna come by and we're overstacked in numbers already. I'm gonna ask you to give the Bandit Marshal your full cooperation as we go forward and participate and contribute as the Lord these are as you are instructed to do. God bless you. Thanks. Praise God. Praise God. And now you will listen to the opening prayer, Joseph Parks. Deacon. Deacon Joseph Parks. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise Him like you have life. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Please this blessed hope. We give you all the praise. 
When you pass in this way, dear Lord, I pray that you stop and show some mercy. Merciful God, take full control. Take full control of the Father. We have no other God to call up but only you, the true and living God. We know, dear Father, you bear the cross for us. You bear the nail in your hands and you bear it in your feet and the spear in your side. You could otherwise mind it, but through your love and your mercy towards us, you did it again to Father. So we praise you this afternoon. We glorify you. Never leave us, nor forsake us, Lord. Still remember us in your mercy. Dear Father, we know that nothing, nothing at all hard for you. Everything God Almighty possible to you. So we are bit we are depending on you this blessed hour mm. to be our way maker. Mm. Continually, dearest Father, never leave us, yes. nor forsake us. Yes. My God, I bring forth the bereaved family to you this afternoon. Lord God Almighty, we know their hearts are so sorrowful at this time. And it's only you can be the comfort, dear Lord. So, Father God, I'm asking you, dear Father, to comfort them. Even the, in their going out and in their coming in, mm. I pray that you stand by their side, be their refuge and their guide. Yes. Eventually, Father, take full control another time. Yes. Where we humble wait upon you. And we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who taught us when we pray, so our Father, Amen. who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And that is the kingdom before the glory. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. That was the voice of Deacon Joseph Pat. Amen. 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 You see, we are not here this afternoon to mourn our dear beloved sister. But indeed, we are here, glory to the name of God, to celebrate our life, knowing that she gone out to be with the Almighty God. Yes. And one day, we will see her again. Yes. You will Amen. now listen to the first lesson from 1 Corinthians 15, um, 52 to 58. Zion Campbell, granddaughter. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptibly, and we shall be changed. For the incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O haze, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my virgin, my beloved virgin, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks Thanks be to God. We thank you very much. Amen. 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 And now I will ask you to just bring your voices with me. As we sing uh, the, the, the open hymn, the opening hymn, we are marching uh, to Zion. The brethren, I would like you to help me sing this one in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come ye that love the Lord. Come ye that love the Lord. And let your joys be known.
heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And that God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new, and he said unto me, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that, that a, is a thirst of the fountain of the a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely, seventh and last. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Oh, glory to the name of God. Amen. Give him a round of applause. Amen. 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 Well said. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall I tell you something? Yes. Last night, this is this is the this young man here. You see, Sister Senior mm -hmm. labor is not in fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Last night, it was this young man, the first one, who encouraged us. Yes. Amen. At the house up there. And glory to the name of God. He is here this afternoon mm -hmm. to read. Yes. Amen. Amen. The word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. A child shall indeed lead a nation. Amen. What do you say, people? Amen. Amen. What do you say? Amen. Amen. Trubek, now Angela Francis. Yeah. Yeah. Come, sister, right. come, sister. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. So I'm reading this tribute on behalf of Angela Francis. I write this tribute with great sadness over the unimaginable loss of my dear sister and friend. I have known Patsy for over 30 years, and from the moment we met, there was this strong connection between us. Over the years, our friendship evolved and grew even stronger when Rose and I met. We were the inseparable triplets, the I3. We were so close that when her first son was born, I had the honor of being named Godmother. Living in Mount Airy for many years, my children grew with love and respect for her. We were all a family. She was a mother, sister, friend, confident, a no-nonsense person, a powerhouse, a firm believer in God, and always having some encouraging words of wisdom. She can be very aggressive at times and straightforward with her words and emotions when provoked. She was the one who encouraged me to start selling my produce at the market. She would often say, you have them nice, pretty, big plants in and banana going to waste. Ripe up your sitting them and carry them go sell. Whenever I would make any negative comments, she would say, you're too fool fool. She would always encourage me to give my life to Christ. Even on her dying bed, she would ask, what y'all do with your life? What y'all wait for? You know, say, what stop you from giving your life over to Christ? Reminiscing on the years when her battle with this disease started, she would always say, I leave everything in the hands of God. Anything or anything, we're not afraid for dead. And after these words, she would follow it. You know, believe me. After doing her first surgery and receiving her prognosis, 
it was what no one wanted to hear. When she called me to relay the test results, her exact words were, Boy, the doctor them say me have cancer, but me no believe that. But if everything in the hands of God, I pray I must say, healing in the name of Jesus. By my faith, I shall be healed. I have never seen a person with so much faith. She is a Job. As the years went by, the devil decided to get back at her. Even when she continued, she still held on to her faith, proclaiming her healing. In 2017, my children and I were visiting. There was this growth behind her ears, which was quite concerning for us. Myself, along with my children, encouraged her to take a trip overseas with us to seek better medical attention. Though her cancer had returned, that didn't stop her from having fun. I remember the December prior to her treatment, our family and Patsy took a trip to the cabins in the mountains. She had so much fun that she always reminisced with me about how much fun she had. Treatment was initiated with major surgery, followed by radiation, which was successful based on test results and scans performed. Though after returning home and continuing her regular scheduled checkups, after approximately two and a half years, her disease made yet another appearance. I remember when she called and told me that she was admitted to the hospital due to breathing issues. It was difficult for me to not to suspect what the outcome would be. She kept on saying, the devil are give me a fight, sister, but me now give up. All you do, just hang in there with me. Hang in there with me, sister. I had a tremor in my voice and she asked, what you do? What you ball for? No bother with that. Hang in there with me. May I tell you, over and over, men are afraid for dead. She has never thought about the word dying, even when things seemed dim. She was always in a jovial mood. I can recall in February, retiring to bed one night, I had a vision. I saw a man appear to me, telling me to get up, and he whispered the words of a song, telling me to sing it. I arose from my sleep and began to question the dream, thinking to myself, I have never heard this song. I later went back to bed. The man appeared a second time. When I didn't heed the call, he came a third time. And this was when I sat up in bed, reached for my phone and YouTube the song. The song started to play and I got so emotional, wondering if this was a message. I called Rose the morning off and related to her the dream I had and sent her the song. She in turn sent it to Patsy and relayed to, my, relayed to her my dream. Even to date, I am still baffled by the song and what the meaning of it all. I won't go all into the words, but the chorus goes, Lord, I've been faithful in the service you have given and the harvest of the field. Lord, I have done. But now my steps are growing weary. Lord, I'm waiting and I'm ready to go home. The last verse says, though I hate to see so many friends behind, to leave so many friends behind, and the, the parting of our ways will break my heart. No, I'll wait for them inside the gates of heaven where the children of God will never part. Patsy and I always had our phone conversations, sometimes video chat with the assistance of Rhodes, the third sister. As she started to slow down, I knew that lovely voice would have faded away as the days went by. As I would often converse with Rose, she would say, Patsy asking for you and asking when you come in. In February, I received a phone call from Rose stating that Patsy wanted to talk to me. I was a bit shaken, not knowing what to expect. In a very low tone, she told Rose, if I can't hear her, relay this message for me. She said, if anything should happen to me, it was in this moment, I believe, she realized the gravity of the situation and what was about to come. So I, along with my daughters, Jody and Yanit, decided to pay her a visit. Little did we know that this would have been our last visit, seeing her alive. Talking with her, she told me she dreamt that she had died and they took her to Medarest. Upon reaching the gate, they will not allow us in. Then she realized she never bought her dead and then I came to take her away. She said that this wasn't her first time having this dream. 
Patsy remained her true self even within her last days. She managed to crack her jokes. The last one that I can remember that stood out was when Rose and I were in her room and she whispered something to me. I could hardly hear her. Getting closer, she repeated, from Rose home, she no put on her bag. I wish she have in there so. <laughs> this was the Patsy I know, even in her last days that she tried to cheer up. My hope for her is that she sleeps in peace, knowing that her anchor holds and all will be well. How could someone so beautiful be taken away from us? It was just months ago, we were all laughing and chatting, sometimes over silly things. But all of a sudden, that day came, you left me, you left everyone. My heart has experienced so much heartache in just one phone call. You wanted me to sing, what will it be when we get over yonder and unfinished tasks? I was able to sing that with you when you got dressed yesterday when we get over yonder. And I sang unfinished tasks for you last night at your nine nights. Though you weren't present in the flesh, I knew your spirit man heard every word. Patsy, I will miss you for all your encouraging words. Your courageous laugh with your eyes closed. What would my sister and friend, we will meet again on that beautiful shore. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Angela. Glory to the name of God. Yes. Our heart is touched. Yes. But indeed, I have uh, uh, learned two things from, I was listening carefully. Amen. And the first thing come to my understanding, I have the knowledge of, I didn't know that there's a high three in Mount Erie. <laughs> I know of Rita, Judith, and, and um, Marcia. Marcia. I didn't know that uh, three in Mount Erie, but I know today. Amen. Amen. And what I know, I, I, I heard again from the reading there. Um, she got the vision that she have dead, and she never bought her dead. Amen. Amen. But uh, her husband know that, uh, know about batting. Whenever time a batsman or a bat woman, or, or a bat woman take the bat, glory to the name of God, and make over 50. Mm -hmm. You did well. Yes. Amen. Are Amen. you with me? Yes. Yes. So long as you lick yes. ball yes. and get half yes. century, yes. Yes. you did well. Yes. Yes. You see, when you go over half century, yes. Lord of mercy, you're yes. excellent. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. But when you are going so good, you have to prepare for the bong, sir. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory to the name of God. A yak, a ball. Yes. Because the yak are coming in up. Yes. Amen. 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 And you have to care about. Yes. Amen. Unfortunately, she get a yak. Yes. And the, 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 the legs come gone. Yeah. And we are here today. Yeah. Not mourning, but rejoicing. Rejoice. She did well. Amen. 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 And she live. She, she, she leave many fruits of her labor. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory to the name Amen. of God. Now, you will listen to the eulogy by Nadine Adam's daughter. Amen. Nadine Adam's daughter. Monday, January 20, 1958, was the era of the mental music, and the lyrics of the day was Island in the Sun. The Prusy Aubrey Phoenix and his precious sweetheart Susan, keeping a musical rhythm motion, produced their own little island in the sun, Patsy. She was their fifth child, another star in their crown. Mommy and Daddy's pride and joy. There was just something special about this. This child, she had the beauty of her mother and the attitude of her daddy. Between them both, they made a great combination. Patsy attended Enfield All Aid School, then went on to the St. Michael Academy, which was commonly called in the community as Mr. Cousin School. She was magnificent in her dress, very fashionable. 
Their uniform was always neatly ironed and their black comb hair was pressed each morning with the aid of an eating fork. Her teachers and peers, um, this did not go unrecognized by her teachers and peers, and so she was awarded the neatest girl in grade nine. When Patsy walked by, heads would turn in this community. Just to take a second look at her, with her radiant beauty and captivating smile, she captured the art of a young man from the community, Harrington Adams, and from that union, two beauty were produced, Nadine and Chevany Adams. They were together for a number of years before she relocated to Mount Airy, St. Andrew, in search of employment. To pursue her independence, she strongly believed that one hand can crop, and she had to help had to help to take care of her little family. She became a caregiver, working with a number of families to ensure she was on top of things. Now residing in St. Andrew, she gave birth to her third child, Sonia Todd. So that's girl number three. So being a nurturing mother Patsy was, she sought employment closer to home. The care and because she needed to provide the care and attention for her children. She worked at a nursery picking coffee and berries and managing the seedling requirement. She was proficient in this line of work. But when she met her dear husband, John in Kingston, who loved farming also, as much as her, she launched out and started their own coffee farm. In addition to planting and taking care of coffee seeds, her husband decided to give her two of his own seedlings from his personal storeroom. Krishna came first, and shortly after, bam, came Kiran Sina. These two boys brought them the greatest yield of all. It was the best harvest ever for proud Mr. Sina because these boys helped to perpetuate the Sina clan. For years to come, the Sina name would remain strong. Patsy the go getter and John the supporter and provider face their challenges together. However, the greatest challenge of all started in 2009 when she observed along behind her left ear. She sought medical attention and was diagnosed with cancer. With her strong faith in God and herbal treatment, she opted not to do any form of chemo. Her unquivered faith had her back on her feet, back in the farm. From this farm, she would get her bananas that she would ripen and take to the market. Mommy had regular market days, which were Mondays, Wednesday, and Saturdays. Her sister Duff would say, any day will do because she now make her banana them spoil. All seemed to be well until 2015, the problem reoccurred. She hid it from her husband because she didn't want him to fret over, over it. Anyway, Ozzy found out and he would press her constantly to go and check it out. Mommy was stubborn in her ways at times, and those of you who knew her would attest to this. But when her cousin Bob died and her dear friend Angela came and she showed it to her, she got on her phone and called her children, Jodie and Yannick, and told them what she observed. And with no hesitation, they said, Come, no, Miss Patsy, come, you have to come to the state and get some medical treatment. And so she did. She was now under the watchful eye of, of her friend Angela and her family. She did a major surgery in 2016 that amazed doctors and nurses. She overturned their prediction, which stated that she would not be able to see from her left eye and in order brush her teeth with an adult toothbrush. She'd have to use a baby toothbrush. But please, a god and Patsy Parr. She saw from the eyes she used, she saw from the eye they said she couldn't, and she used adult toothbrush. And all that they say was impossible. Mommy did it with constant utterance. Move, Satan, move, let me pass. Mm -hmm. Mommy had the will to live, the fight to go on, and the determination that God would deliver. And he did. Remember I told you she did a major surgery. 
that disfigured her face. But in less than a year, mommy was back on the farm. Of course, like the song states, what a hard man today. Amen. <laughs> Patsy had a fight, and even though her husband pursued her to stay on the farm, she was adamant that that was her place to be. He bought her a gift in the form of a car to bring her style and comfort. She, but instead, she used it to transport her farm produce to the market. And this was quite fine with her. Poor daddy. He had to just let, let, let her be. He just work with it. The dawn of 2020 brought many changes. The onset of COVID-19 and uncertainty of what lies ahead. However, this year I still found my mother on the farm and going to the market on a weekly visit. It was on one of such visits that she took ill. She came home and visited her doctor because in her head she thought it was COVID. She did several tests, including COVID, which she, which she did, which she did not have, but the monster called cancer rear its ugly head once more. This time it was in her lungs. This was shocking to many. However, Mommy Patsy prayed and the more she prayed, she dig and dig deeper in God's strength. That whatever was the Lord's will, let it be done because many of to be dead. Amen. The men in her life was her main source of strength on a daily basis. Her husband and sons, which, which lived with her and Kiran was like a shadow to her. He gave much more than any mother would ask for without any complaint. He provided daily assistance as her condition deteriorated. Other family, friends, siblings, her sister, Rose and her children rallied around. All hoped for the best. Mommy on the other hand knew otherwise and she prepared everybody in her own way for what was coming. I can remember mommy saying, and I, and I quote, I am not afraid of dying, you know, it's just a pain we can't manage. Because as a child of God, you can't believe in one part of the Bible and not the next. Once you're born, you pick me, you have to die. This made me look at mommy in a different light. This woman is really, tuning to God. Our church family and other community churches would hold prayer meetings with her and love uplifted her faith in God, in which she participated wholeheartedly. Coming closer to her final moments, she said the song was always was always constant on her lips. I'm too near to my yeah. heavenly home to turn up yeah. now. Did what she was ready, she did what she was ready to do. She had to, she did what was ready, she was ready to go. She had to do and was ready to meet her maker. And um, I can remember one Sunday when, when her church virgin came and she told them about the song and when they sang the song and we were all there, it seemed as if they were ushering her in heaven. And mommy had this glow like nothing else matter. And I knew then that mommy was really, really ready because she could not bear the pain any longer. And as Jesus said on the cross, into your hands I commit myself. Thursday, April 15, 2021, she made a peaceful transition at the University Hospital, leaving Mother Susan Phoenix, husband Gurel Sina, Mr. Inouye's John, children Nadine, Shafani, Sanya, Krishna, and Kiran, stepdaughter Jillian, she loved as her own, sisters Daphne, Norma, Claire, Dudley, Carl, Winston, Rudolph, Gloria, and baby sis Paulette. Grandchildren, Janae, Kashmar, Jordanie, Malik, and baby girl, Krishna. 
at, at last, and a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, and relatives and friends. My lasting memories of mom are simple. A hardworking, passionate figure of strength who never warned in the support of love of her family. She was jovial and no nonsense person who loved the Lord with all her heart and with all her might. And like Job, she suffered, but she pressed on to the end. She never ceased to encourage or to praise and rejoice about the goodness of God. She has soldiered on. She will be greatly missed, but we love her enough to let her go. She is resting finally in peace. And we love you, Mommy. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Is that the amen? Amen. 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 Trubert in song, Seizure Bible Church. Why? <clears throat> Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, before we sing, bless the name of the Lord, I just want to say, uh, Missionary Senior was one of our faithful choir members. Bless the name of the Lord. And the last song, last song to sang with us was in 2020 at our annual ladies' convention which it was five of us, and now it has left. The four of us on the choir, but we give God thanks. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Life is like a mountain railroad with an engine that's brave. We must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave. The curves that fill the tunnel never fall, and never fail. Keep your hand upon the tracker and your eyes upon the rail. Blessed say that God will guide us till we reach the blissful shore. Continue to sing the chorus. 
bless the name of the Lord. Those virgin from the seashore Bible Church of God who are the rose, bless the name of the Lord. You can come and lay it on her casket. Hallelujah. Blessed Savior, Lord, will guide us. Here we reach our blessful shore. Where the angel waits to join us in thy praise forevermore. Blessed Savior, Lord, will guide us. Here we reach our blessful shore. In thy praise forevermore. Indeed, God is good. Glory to the name of God. We thank you much. And now, sermon, pastor, friends. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Let us praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to be written because I want to be real. Oh, Lord. Greetings once more. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To stand Lord before you again yes. and to impart a few words. Praise him. I want to try to with this chorus to change the pace a little bit. Yes. I think yes. this yes. senior was so lively and so joyful. Yes. That we want to really yes. right in the corner where we are. Yes. As yes. she's about to break the place. Amen. Right now. And let us sing this chorus together. I have another land in view. And when them see the hard life, hear them now? I want them manage out here. Mm. You don't know what sweet them. Them don't have long to stay in this one. They must go back to them comfortable life. Yes. That is better than to make a hard life where you have suffer like that. Some of us. Let us praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So them only encourage you and sorry for you and then gone back to Canada. Amen. And gone back to America. But even when you are in Canada, COVID will catch you. Yes. Yeah? There is not a spot where you can hide upon the earth that COVID or some other disease don't take you. 
Lord Jesus. Amen. But thanks be to God. Have another land. Hope make it not a shame. We have another land. Amen. And I'm listening to the scriptures. And the, the little boy was reading in yes. Revelation. Oh, I you know what sweet me in the scripture. Yes. Behold, he said, the one that sat upon the throne. My God. Now be will stand up on my foot here. Amen. And I ride my bicycle and I walk foot that around the place. I start to pass. Foot, yeah. A man that is greater than the greatest man on yes. earth. Yes. He yes. sat upon the throne. Yes. And when John looked at him, and all the beauty of him, Amen. he said Bless to John, Lord, Jesus. listen Jesus. now, behold, I make all things new. Yes. 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 When I went and I look at it, I oh, see that I said, the, the flesh gone, oh, leaving the bones alone. Jesus. But hear me, people. Oh, the man is saying, Behold, I make Jesus. all things new. Jesus. Oh my God, that is hope indeed. Yes. When I find Sierra in skin and bones, looking grimace. Because of the pain she's suffering, when she come back, she come back with beauty. Yes. Because yes. he will give her a body, yes. not fashioned after this carnal body, yes. a body fit for eternal life. Yes. Amen. Because Amen. God don't want no clay no, on that body. Because he said in the book of First Corinthians 15, flesh and blood cannot inherit Amen. eternal life. Amen. God Jesus, they making some new computers now. It's not a megabyte the memory carrier, you know, it's a terabyte. Mm -hmm. And if man cannot make some things and increase and step up and improve on it like that, when the word of God tells us that he makes all things new, he's not going to just make one or two. Let us pray. All things, amen. All things, amen. amen. Including the body. Yes. Our sister senior. You must tell your car crash. He can pass and all the mash up. You say, Lord God, this can come back. Yes. But when he got the Jew come on and the body man, and all the men to do it, down inside, and then it's plastered in it. I have another land in you. God, this one may look pretty, but it's pretty foolish. Because you can't be on the ground. You understand me? But the land that we have in you is in that make it not a thing. Because of Christ, the eternal life that he help us and I bring to you this and ask you please to turn your life over. God bless you. Thank you. 
Depend on this English. First period. Yeah. 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 Beautiful, beautiful. 